really get a better place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Let us see Hi, this is Mary from Mary's Stamping Happenings and today is Tips and Techniques Tuesday and I'm going to show you a technique I learned from Audrey Magno Gordon and it's a fun technique what I call it is our blendabilities marbling. Now you can do it a couple of different ways. You can either use plastic wrap or your Ziploc storage bags or something plastic. Um, it gives you a couple of different things. These are used on the plastic bags or on the plastic wrap. I like it a little bit differently, gives it a little bit of texture. But you can usually only use the plastic wrap once because it's a lot flimsier. With the plastic bags, with the Ziploc bags, now you can use this I used for this one. At first I did a pink on it and this is what the pink turned out. And I really didn't like it that much on the plastic bag uh, because it looked a lot more drippy than I liked. So what I did for, with that is the bag dried out. As you can see, it's pretty dry. And so all I did was put some blue, some the, of the uh, uh, blue over it. And then I redid it. I spritzed it with alcohol and redid it. And it turned out like this. Now I don't like necessarily the colors, but you can do it two or three times on that. Um, I did it also on this one. And I first, let's see, I don't have the one that I did it on with me. But I did it the yellow and then I added the oranges and the um, pinks. And this is what it turned out. This is the second one. I did it first once. It came out a lot darker. Then I did it a second time. Just spritzed it. Didn't add any more blendabilities. And I took another one, and this is what it turned out like. Now, what you're going to need... Okay, what you're going to need besides your blendabilities and your plastic wrap is you're going to need a little bottle, spray bottle, and put alcohol, rubbing, just plain rubbing alcohol in it. Now what I'm going to do, oh and you're going to need the glossy card stock. I just use the stuff that comes with my ink, the, the, gla the photo paper. So we'll, I'll do one of each for the Tips and Techniques Tuesday and then for uh, There's a Card Thursday I'll finish off one of the cards. So the first one I want to do is I'm just going to use the plastic wrap. I got this at Dollar Tree, you don't have to have the, you know, the big fancy expensive plastic wrap. The only thing you really need to know is you need to be able to put the blendabilities over the entire area of your cardstock. As you notice, a couple of mine didn't cover the entire area. But what what you really need to do, these are four by sixes. You can well, these are five by sevens. That's why. <laughs> I was doing four by six. So I'll just put it in here and you're looking at some place between, you know, four and a half to eleven and a half, and some place between this is seven and a half and three and a half. So um, what I'm going to do is I love the doing the uh, grass in the sky. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my this is my old olive blendabilities assortment, and I'm just going to go right like that. And it's okay if you don't cover the whole thing. It's okay if you get some white in there. It's okay if you go like this, whatnot. It gives it a little texture. You just want to go like that. And, okay, I'm going there. Then I'm going to take my Coastal Cabana and I'm going to do the sky and again all I'm going to do is go like this 
It's okay if it dries out, you're going to add the alcohol. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a little sun. So I'm taking my daffodil delight, or is it daffodil delight? Yep, daffodil delight. And I'm going to put a little sun up there. And you're going to use, you're using the brush end, really. Okay. And then, now the important thing is, is, where's my alcohol? Take your alcohol bottle. Spritz it. You'll notice it starts to uh, beat up. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take one piece of my cards, my uh, and I'm just going to rub the back of this. Okay. And peel it away. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now you can do another one without even having to do any more. Now this is pretty dry because all the alcohol went onto your glossy cardstock, right? So all I'm going to do is take my alcohol again. And it's not going to be as deep and as, as good as that, but I'm going to just go like this once more. Now you could have added, I could have added more ink. I could have put the blue on again to make the blue a little bit brighter. Or I could have made, um, put on the green, or I could have done all of them. Or I could have put on maybe a brown or an orange in there. See? Okay, so we're just going to take this and... We're going to put it away and you get some stuff. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bag. And this is just, you know, again, I got these at the Dollar Tree. Not really, not looking at very expensive. And I'm going to use my Rich Razzleberries. I saw a really beautiful one. One of my folks in our technique class did a one with the the Wisteria Wonder, but my Wisteria Wonders aren't working. One of them is already dry. Must have used them too much or didn't put the top on right. But I'm going to, let's do this one in the middle. It's going to be like an ombre color. I'm going to do ombre here. Okay. And then we'll do the lighter color at the bottom. And we're going to do the darkest at the top. Now you see these are already beating up and I think it's because it's a cheap plastic and it's kind of oily. Um, So I don't even need the, uh, but I'm going to redo those because they just don't look. That's one of the reasons I don't necessarily like using the bags as much as I like using the plastic wrap. Now I don't know if I went up and got my Ziplocs. If that would also happen here or not. I just don't know. And then I'm just going to spray my alcohol. See, it even just a little just sprays it right down. See, I'm not liking that as much as I like the what it looks like on the plastic wrap. 
I like the I like the difference in here, but I I like some of the swirls in there, but it, it looks too dotty, too whatnot. So I think I'm going to stick with the plastic wrap when I do it. But there is that's how you do your oh and this now one of the things we can do with this and I'll show you this is let's put a little bit of color on this. Let, we're using our pumpkin pie. Look at that, that's even brown there. Hmm. And I'm just going right over it. Maybe this will help. So I'm going right over that. I'm going to spritz some more. And going to put that down right there. So you can. You can mix different colors. You can go back after you use one color, put another color on. There you have it. The ink, the, the alcohol just makes the ink um, wet so you can use it. But there you have it. For Tips and Techniques Tuesday, thanks for visiting and happy stamping. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a play.